Well, hello there. My name is John Meyer. I make a video every week about music-related topics. This past weekend, I took a trip down to see my parents in Somerville, Texas. Picked up the boys from school. We drove about four hours. I had all these plans of capturing all this video for a project that I'm working on that I hope to share with you soon. And nothing worked the way that I had planned. I still think it's gonna happen, but it was really frustrating. And I have an ongoing series where I talk about the reasons why I make a video every Friday. A few months ago, I talked about because it helps me get better. It's pretty obvious. A few weeks ago, I talked about how you never know who's watching. And this week's reason why I make a video is because it's difficult. When I'm here at work in my studio and say I need a mandolin, I just reach over and grab a mandolin. If I need a guitar, I got them all. In, I just have to scoot my chair over, pick it up, and I'm playing. The second that I walk out of the house with my camera, something goes wrong. Scheduling people, weather, batteries, SD cards in my camera. So many times I have driven miles away from my house only to find out that I have no way to record anything, so I just go home. Ah! I've been making these videos now for, I guess, about six months, and I'm starting to learn who you are through your comments. Some of them are so nice and encouraging. And what I'm finding is that there are a lot of you that are just getting started and you wanna know how to make it in the business. Some are just my friends who pay attention and say nice things to me. That's really nice to have. And then there are some of you that are perhaps older than me. You maybe even have some regrets that you didn't pursue music full time. Some of you have, it's all over the place, but I get the sense that perhaps some of you are repeat viewers and you watch each week and I'm trying to figure out why you'd even care. And I think I fall kind of in that middle ground of, I haven't made it big. I have to keep working. If I don't work today and this week, then uh, I'm not gonna have a job for me and I've got to work for a good 20, 25, 30 more years. But I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been doing it for a couple decades. I've got some experience. I know about a lot of things because I've had to do a lot of things. And I'm trying to share that with you. I would like notoriety. I want people to respect me. I want people to like me, think I'm funny. I want people to buy my music, to listen to my music. I wanna make a lot of money doing music. Uh, those are things that I want. But I can say in all honesty, that with a little bit of time and wisdom of two decades of doing this, the thing that I really want most with my life is to be engaged in the work that I do. And the way that I'm engaged with that work is to have to overcome the challenges of figuring out how to do that work. And that's why I love production music so much. It's because every day I'm faced with a new challenge. This week I wrote a, a steam band carousel track. So I had to research all this stuff and buy a plugin that helped me create it. And it was so fun. And with filmmaking and making these videos, there are things that were complete roadblocks and obstacles to me three months ago. And now I can do them. The technical aspects of filmmaking, I'm starting to get a grasp on those. So now I can change my challenge to how do I tell the best stories and not just how do I get through a video and get it uploaded. I hope this is an encouragement to you because whether you are just getting started or you've been doing this for a long time, you can always find difficult situations to get yourself into. There's always something that you can learn and that will hopefully help you along your path, but more than anything, it'll just keep you locked in to what you're doing. And if your experience is like my experience, what you will gain from that is not what you would ever think that you would gain from it. You'll go along a path and some road will go off in a different direction and you'll be doing something you never would have imagined. That's the way it has worked for me. I didn't draw it up the way my life is going, but I love my life and I love the things that I get to do. I really need to be doing more of these like eight reasons why type of videos. Uh, but we'll start with two things. One, dream big. Think of something huge that you wanna do that just seems ridiculous. And if you told your friends, they would think you're crazy. And you don't necessarily have to tell them, but just think about that thing, write it down, look at it and say, that's what I wanna do or that's where I wanna be. And for us musicians out there, what I'm doing today, I'm waiting for the FedEx man to deliver a lap steel guitar. I've always wanted to learn that. And I bought the cheapest lap steel I could find. I could use one from a guitar center somewhere in California. But that's one way that we can look at music different is by learning new instruments.
The sun is coming out, it's a little brighter. It's probably time for my profound words to come to an end. There's a ton of videos out there just like this that are uh, aimed at encouraging you. So there's nothing new from me today. My challenges have kind of shaped my career and I'm thankful for them even though I didn't see it that way at the time. Although I didn't capture everything that I wanted to capture this past weekend, I did get some nice footage of my dad talking about Somerville and the rail line that goes through the town. We're beside the main line over here in Somerville and they've been doing some maintenance on, on the uh, the rails and they periodically have to replace the ties and stuff. And here is a uh, an old tie that's been removed on the main line. This is a tie, the actual tie itself, made out of oak usually. And it's treated with chrysote here at a place here in Somerville a lot. This thing right here is called a tie plate right down here. It's got holes for spikes, spikes right there. And the rails fit right in between here. So what was this town like when you were growing up? Oh, it was busy. It was busy. We Tie plant was really busy and there was a lot of noise going on down here. There was trains coming all the time, passenger trains. It was a real busy town. A lot of stores were in place and it was just a fun place to be. Time has caught up with us a little bit, but we're trying to revive it here. I've got some exciting stuff for you in the future. I hope you stick around. Please subscribe. Hit the like button, tell your friends, all that stuff, and I'll talk to you soon.